There are lessons that are common to all of those who are successful. The U.S. ambassador to Uganda, Deborah Ruth Malak, is on a working visit in northern Uganda, following up on USAID-funded projects and implementing new development projects in the region. On Wednesday, she addressed a group of youth and young entrepreneurs in Gulu district. Malak says stakeholders, including the government, should change the approach to agricultural development. But we have to think differently about this. We have to restructure and reframe the way that we look at it. Because we know subsistence agriculture won't get you where you need to be. To understand that working in the agricultural sector does not only mean, and in some cases may not mean at all, digging or planting or growing. There are lots of different activities within the agricultural sector um, that you can have access to. With a population mainly composed of the youth, Malak has called for more resource allocation to younger people. But youth engagement, um, in whether it's in the agriculture sector or economic sectors more generally, really does have to be matched by serious commitment from the private sector and from the government. We need to find how we can get young people better access to capital, to land, and ultimately to markets. The discussion organized by Feed the Future Uganda Youth Leadership Agriculture, YLA, was aimed at helping the youth unlock their potential to tap into meaningful opportunities for their economic development. Kelly Cronin, the YLA Chief of Party, notes that the event is expected to change the thinking of the young population towards development opportunities. It was designed to help youth unlock their potential broadly in life to think about what are the different issues or obstacles that affect how they find a job, how they work with employers, etc. And more specifically to help you think about what it would take to unlock their potential to find jobs in agriculture. To some of the young entrepreneurs, youth involvement in the development process is paramount. If we are still individualistic, if we are still on our own, if we are fighting each other and trying to bring the other down, we are not going to make it. But if we come together and, um, and, and have a platform where we could inform decision making, inform the government on what is best for us, we are, going to, we are definitely going to be on the winning side. Ricky Rapper says for the youth to tap into the available opportunities, there is need for mindset change. There is no more time to say there are no jobs. There is no more time to say government is not investing in us. I think we need to invest in ourselves. We need to create opportunities for other young people and create jobs for other young people and create the kind of system or the kind of environment that we want to live in. The event brought together more than 10 youth leadership agriculture partners from northern Uganda with over 200 participants to provide peer-to-peer -peer support and inspiration. Nelson Omoya, NTV.